so our lightweight title is vacant. Both young men in their 30s, the slightly taller Sterrett, a more experienced as Chris said on paper, Stapleton, but will that affect the outcome? Let's go to Buddy Johnson and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live for the main event of the evening. This bout sponsored by Lonsdale. And when the action begins, your judges, Andy Roberts, Kevin Carpel, and Ben Cartledge. Fight fans in attendance at the Barclay Card Arena. Our fighters are ready. If you're ready, make some noise! This main event is for the vacant Bama Lightweight Championship of the World. Three five minute rounds in Bama's lightweight division. Introducing your first challenger, an MMA fighter standing five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at 154.4 pounds. He has a record of 16 wins, four losses, and zero draws, with six of those wins by TKO and six by submission. Representing SPG Manchester from Rochdale, England, Martin Fifty Cow Stapleton. And his opponent in the red corner, your second challenger, an aggressive fighter standing six feet tall and weighed in at 155 pounds. He has a record of six wins, one loss and zero draws, with five of those wins by TKO. Representing the Wolf Slayer from Liverpool, England, he is Gavin Warhorse Starrett. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Keep yourself protected. When I say start, you start. Touch gloves. Let's do this. So you saw the intensity there, Chris. This vacant title, our big co-main event, and they raised the roof at the introduction of these two men. It's the capstone tonight at Bama 23. Neither athlete is going to back down. The vacant lightweight crown up for grabs. And it's Stapleton versus Starrett. Stapleton looking for the head kick, then goes inside to the femoral artery. Clips Starrett, but Starrett again with great coverage. He has those hands always very high, but Stapleton with the takedown. What a start, Chris. So precise and sharp and quick. And Stapleton immediately taking the warhorse to the canvas. And clearing those legs very neatly. He's got to work beyond the knees. And now closing in tight to Gavin Starrett. Very interesting to see 50 Cal go right to the canvas for this one. But Chris, I want to pick up on something earlier. You said about his, he felt his greatest improvement was in the transitioning. And that's why we're here, the superb transitioning from that striking to where we are now. Both hooks in. Got to work to maintain position. He's got the arm all the way under the chin. Full scissor for that figure four. Can't tell from our angle how deep that is, but he's got the position, Malcolm. Incredible, Chris, right from the start. All set up by superb hand and feet combinations while he was upright. And immediately, Gavin Sterrett is under such pressure. And Sterrett is stalling a little bit here, but he takes it's over from the very opening. He didn't put a foot wrong, Chris. I could see Sterrett was a little bit complacent. I wasn't sure if he was hand fighting from the camera angle, but it's a win for 50 cal. Incredible stuff. He took the talk, he walked the walk. Martin Stapleton went out and made a statement. The former Royal Marine showing off true championship resolve. And we knew neither of these guys were gonna back down, but taking on a real submission artist with a choke, just sensational. And here we see a replay of how that transpired. Martin closed the distance, snared up the legs, Snuck around to the back door and locked in those hooks, and there's the tap. It's a win for 50 Cal. And raises his hands nonchalantly and walks off. It doesn't get any more perfect than that. And 
Martin Stapleton, ladies and gentlemen, continues his perfect run here in Bama at the Night of Champions here at the Barclay Card Arena at Bama 23. And as the man from Cheshire here in England celebrates his win over the Liverpudlian, the Warhorse Starrett, the crowd goes wild. And what a feather in his cap. Starrett was so adamant he'd had the best camp of his life. Perfect weight cut, felt phenomenal. And Stapleton took him out with a fantastic finish. Let's get the official announcement from Buddy Johnson. Our main event ended one minute, 18 seconds of the first round. Your winner by rear naked choke and Bama's new lightweight champion of the world, Martin 50 Cal Stapleton. Martin, I've just got to say after that performance, prior to this fight, you talk the talk, but man, did you just walk the walk. That's what I'm all about. I don't talk shit, I just say what's the truth, and I come and do it. Gavin Sterrett, I've never respected opponent as, as much as I respect him. I, you know, he had a little bit of fear against Gav, because I know he can knock anybody out. But I said I will come in here, and I said I'd do him, and I said I'd stop him, and I did. You've seen how quick, Gavin Sterrett is one of the best fighters around. And I'll finish him in a minute. I'll finish any of them in a minute. Now, you mentioned before the fight, because here is the rear naked choke now. What was that feeling when you knew that was on tight? I knew it was on as soon as he had my arms around his neck. I could feel him breathing really heavy, really hard. And I knew it was only a matter of time before he had to switch his defense. So I was just holding it where I was and waiting till it, for his hands to come off to switch to a new defense. And that's when I tightened it up. Now, actually, you did say, you predicted, everything you predicted came true. Yeah. But did you think it would be that early in the bout? Uh, f you know what? If you'd have asked me that question an hour ago, I would have said no. But when I got in the cage and I walked across there and I seen him step in, I said to myself, I'm going to do him in a minute. I said that to myself, and I believed it. Well, one of the things you also said pre-fight was how you were working on transitioning and making it more smooth. Was that smooth tonight from the upright to the takedown? Everything you said that you'd been training What's on. What does everyone else think? Was that smooth? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our smooth new lightweight champion, 50 Cal is in the house.